Hi guys, this is Christophe from Above Upstairs, part of our weekly wine courses. Today we're going to talk about how to assess uh, a wine. First, I would recommend you have a nice crystal glass. That would be a better option than a classic cheaper glass. Crystal glass have a, have a better coloring and a better reflection of the natural color. Um, so that would give you a better indication of what's going on into the glass. Usually the wine testing is spread into three steps. The site, uh, just to assess the color. That will give you an indication of the youth of the wine. That will give you as well a little indication of when comes something go wrong. For example, color you don't want to see. It's like orange and brown color in a white wine. That's not something that you want to see unless you, you buy some orange wine. For the red wine, what you're looking for is maybe a shiny red or purple color. Will be give you an indication that the wine is very young. And then on the rim and depth, if you start to see some color of little orange rim, this is a show of aging. Obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but it's, it gives you an impression. If the wine is totally orange, it passed its quality, its drink time. Don't worry, you're not going to get sick if you drink a wine which is too old, or even if it's corked, uh, you still can't drink it, but it's not going to taste nice. Okay, so what usually you take a nice, you obviously take a stem glass, you bend the glass forward, and what you want to do is to do that on the, on the top of a front of a white background. Uh, if you try to look at the color on the black table, you're going to be here all night. So you take a white napkins, a white piece of paper, A4 or whatever. Usually it's better you do it during the day. Natural light is much better than any kind of artificial LED uh, night. Okay? So you, what you do, you are bending the glass forwards, so the wine is taking the shape of an egg, and you put your glass, and you can assess roughly what you're going to see. It's the intensity of the color. If the wine is white, white, slightly green, green, yellow, it means it's certainly dry and certainly young. If the wine getting really, really yellow and dark yellow, that's an indication of heavy wood use, or the wine is definitely is going to be sweet. Of course, after that, after orange and gold, if you go brown and other darker color, it's actually not a good sign. And uh, for the red wine, what you're looking for, as I said again, you're looking for the depth of the color, the intensity, and any kind of trace of aging, which is the orange color, which will be from the top of the rim going towards the center. Okay, this is not a 100% accurate reading, it's not going to give you an exact reading, but you have a little impression where the wine is going uh, or where the wine has been. So once the, you have your wine on the paper and you already assess the color, fatness, if there any sugar or not, alcohol, there is something you cannot uh, smell, it's actually acidity and sugar. So this is what you're going to try into the mouth. I would recommend you take your mouth, you put it in a whistling position, like... But instead of whistling out, you're actually whistling in, sucking out the wine and... Just like have a look. By doing that for a few seconds, you're actually frictioning the wine with the air and it will actually open the wine quicker. Try that at home and you will realize that the wine tastes much, much more intense after doing that. Now I can find acidity in your mouth. Acidity is very, very important. No acidity, the wine will be completely flat, flat and soft. Very uninteresting. Too much acidity, that could be very aggressive for your mouth. But acidity is very important to lift the fruit forward, so very important. Alcohol, alcohol is not part of the flavoring, but will give you a, a body. No alcohol, your wine will be completely flat and weak. Too much alcohol, it will be heady, like a punch in your mouth. So of course, this, these two little things are mainly in the background. But this is very, very important of the structure of the wine. Okay, there is, a, there is something else you will have in the red wine, you are not going to find what wine is, are the tannins. The tannins are some kind of powdery organic element you find in the red wine. And this is what this little dryness you have in your mouth. The tannins are actually very good for you because they're actually breaking down the fat uh, in your body. So this is why if you have a glass of red wine with a piece of fat meat, it's actually go very well together. Something to take in consideration is actually the temperature. Be careful. I used to live in England and the English, they like their wine very, very cold. It's actually no sense because the more, the colder you get, the close, the, the wine will close down completely. And if you drink a very expensive white wine, thousand dollar a bottle for, at, you serve it at five degrees, it's a waste of money. The wine will taste like a tap water. So be careful of, of your temperature. Usually the professional sommeliers are testing white wine at the room temperature or slightly colder, but never cold. So that will give you, you have a full array, full spectrum of wine. Red wine, be very careful as well, especially Bordeaux and the wine which are quite full bodied with tannins. The lower uh, is the temperature, the drier the wine will feel because of you see the tannin get rigid. Too hot, the alcohol will go in your face, but usually the room temperature is actually a good way to do. So what, uh, except to the good thing to smell, like a nice fruits, cassis, fruits and whatever, 
What you try to find is as well bad smell. For example, smell of fresh cork. That could be exciting to smell, but actually you're not going to be sick, but it's just not going to be very nice. Or uh, acetic acid, like a vinegar. If you smell like a vinegar, especially red wine, if it's an aggressive vinegar smell, there's something wrong, definitely. Or especially for red wine or white wine, a little smell of fresh mushrooms or fresh cork. It means the wine is off. Try to send it back to your supplier to get money refunds. You can make a sauce out of it, but remember, bad wine will be a bad sauce, so a corked wine will make a corked sauce. Okay, so it's very important that uh, the glass is actually very, very clean uh, because any kind of powder, chemicals or environment smell will affect uh, your testing. Make sure you do that in a quiet room. No smoke, no coffee, no curry, and, uh, and no, no smell, especially not perfume. So when you go to white testing, uh, please do not wear perfume because this is the worst thing you can do and you might get kicked out of the room. So of course your, your room could be free of any kind of artificial smell. Here we are. So thank you for following us. If you want any more information, follow us on Facebook or YouTube.